I'm Chris Trot. And I'm Harry Higgs. And this is Wedge Play at Bandon Preserve. Where's it going? Is it coming back? Is it just, is it just gone? This is the master class, everyone knows it. This is where you boys are legit. I asked you on the walk up, do you want a yardage? You said no, that intrigued me. No yardage? Yeah, no, uh, long bunker shot. It's kind of just an educated guess. Obviously, you know, you practice it and have this situation a bit more than others. So, so maybe my guess is, is more educated. But no, right here, I mean, one, getting the ball out of the bunker is the most important. And then, you know, maybe if you get up, you know, you walk up to the green and you see there's a couple, there's a slope or two, especially on the left side of the hole here that would, that would kind of slow it down, keep it closer. But no, instead of yardage, like, especially out of bunkers, I'm just kind of visualizing, you know, the, the trajectory I want and just kind of basically just seeing this ball kind of get up in the air, land somewhere between the flag and the edge of the green and, and stop and stay a little closer to the hole. Okay. I've grabbed 56. You've yes. got 52 as well. We know there's about nine yards. What are you thinking? Sure. Well, the the yeah, the sixty is not gonna work. The Just sixty it's flat will, out, right? You gotta Yeah, and like this is a shot you have to you have to hit hard. I mean you, everything has to be exact. You have to you have to hit it hard. You ha your basically your low point, your entry point into the sand has to be right. And then the sand here is maybe a, a bit fluffier, a bit thicker than mm -hmm than normal. This is Euro style, baby. Yeah, so so in that, like, especially on a shot like this, the more sand you hit, the obviously the more resistance, the, the ball's just not gonna go as far. And we need this thing to carry a longer ways. So you're gonna get tight in there, basically, yeah. on the yeah, strike Yeah, and point. so, and, and a good way to practice it, you know, you go home and get in a bunker, would be, you know, mess around with, I th most people sh should have probably lob wedge, because I think most people struggle to get out of bunkers. Um, lob wedge will get the ball in the air, but just draw a line, you know, inch or two behind the ball, and really you can do it without a golf ball, and just practice, you know, entering the sand on that line, mm -hmm. entering the and then introduce a ball and make the same swing, entering, you know, and see how well you did. did if you hit back here, it probably, you know, you, you chunked it, it probably came up short, and if you hit on the, the front side of the line, you're going to hit too much ball, it's going to come out a little lower and a little flatter. Okay. All right, so this is, I mean, this is pretty simple. It's a big swing. Uh, we've got a decent lie, but we're trying to hit, again, probably maybe an inch behind it. I, 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 please, all, all of the, the amateur club golfers back home, open the club face in the bunker. Please, open the club face. If you think that it's open, open it some more. The amount of times I get then in- Then grip it. Then grip it, yes. The amount of times <laughs> that I get in pro-ams and I have people like this open and then they get in the bunker and it winds up square. You've got no chance if it's square. Absolutely no chance. And why, why would you explain that? So if you go like this, it is very simple. If you were to go like this, that is kind of bouncing off and through the sand more. If I go like this, look at how much sand, like, no. You do not want too much sand because then you're gonna, you're just not gonna have as much control over the ball. And just to explain the bounce, which is the sole from, if I put my two fingers there between the fingers, that is the bounce. And what Higgs is talking about, when you open that blade up, as he says, you can then bounce the club through. I cover him a little bit of sand, but it's good. We'll dust it off. I think you missed Bounce me. the ball through. That's what you need, yes. and that'll help create a pocket. So. Besides practicing your entry point, your low point, just open the club face, please. Dig in just a bit, and then we're just kind of trying to hit this hard, hit just behind it. Wait maybe a little on your forward foot, but on a long one like this, maybe just a touch more neutral. Mm. Now I didn't see I hit too much sand. So Higgsy, one thing you didn't pull up on, which I would have said if I was bagging for you, I'm stood here and can see it, balls above your feet, yes, coming sure. that way, but you've talked about open club face, you're still stood square, is that because the ball's above your feet, or is that just you're literally wanting to get the heel of this club into the sand yeah. and the bounce that we talked on? 
That's a great question, Trotty. That, for mate, one. I'm here for a reason, yeah. and it's just yeah. when you hit that bad one, I can cover it up with a great question. Yeah, well, you know, I died. just I caught a bit too much sand on the first one, and it didn't get out of the bunker. It um, happens. It sure does. So I don't really know how best to deal with above or below your feet. It's just kind of an acknowledgement when, when the ball is above my feet in a bunker, you're more apt to just bottom out a little earlier mm -hmm. and, and take more sand, yep. right? And then the opposite is true on a ball below your feet that you're, you know, you tend to maybe want to raise up a bit more and, and the, you will hit more ball. So it's just kind of little tips and tricks like, so I've, I've done it once and I've taken just a bit too much sand and it came up short. Now it's like putting that in the back of my mind and then just again, focusing really, really hard on okay, I just, my low point needs to be a little closer to the ball. I need to hit it a little, I need to hit just a little bit more golf ball. And that goes back to your drill here. There yeah. is so much yes. we can learn as amateurs, the low point, the low point. You've got sure. to control that. Yeah, absolutely. And you, on a longer bunker shot, you're going to, you're probably going to want to hit a bit more ball. I, don't make, mistake that for, you know, basically where that ball ended, that's more of a short-sided, a shorter bunker shot. You are not hitting the golf ball. You are opening the face and you are hitting the sand just a bit behind it with an open club face and the sand will get it out. On a longer one, we're going to need probably a little bit of golf ball mixed in with, with just a little bit Go of sand. I like it. I like the sound and I like the safety of the shot. Go again, mate. Mill grind sole here. They're so consistent. Again, strike point, sound, yeah. consistency. That's what we're seeing. Hit me another one, see if you can get it a bit tighter. That's a good shot. Yeah. I would be happy with I, that. I'll tell you what, where you left me, I would, I would take, well, one, I kind of take either one of them. That bunker shot wouldn't, the first one that was left in there might not be that hard. The other one, at least I've got a putt at it. This is a tough one to get it close. This would be made a bit easier if the sand wasn't as thick. Like you, Thick sand, long bunker shots present, Need speed. present big issues for us, yes. Need speed. I try to get it a little left of it. It should slow it down just a touch. Lovely sound again. Go. See, just a bit. A lot that of was spin close. on that Just one. a bit too much sand. If you're in a practice mode like this, would you, I know this is the hardest shot in golf, but would you keep pulling and hitting and pulling and hitting? And would you restart your routine? How would you practice this at a tour event? Another great question. Do you like um, me throwing golf balls in? Or are you thinking, Jesus, get me off this shot? You know what I mean? No, I mean, there's one, this shot is rare, but you want to, this would also, you know, this is probably maybe 20, 30% up and down with a, with a shot like this, you know, a 30 plus yard bunker shot that you have to carry you know, 25 yards of bunker and yep. get it short. So like, this is a, this is a difficult spot. We just basically just try to avoid these spots altogether, but you will find yourself in it. But that's a great message as well that I've heard at multiple photo shoots. Tour players often, when I put them in these situations, are like, dude, I would never be here. Yeah, so that's... If I'm here, I'm firing you for putting me here because you're the caddy. Yeah, that gets to the, you know, we, we've gotten to the PGA Tour by not one, but here. yeah, skill and, and good play and taking advantage of opportunities, but also avoiding spots like this. Yeah. Um, yep. Now I've done this three <laughs> times and I haven't quite one gotten it to land where I wanted it to. The trajectory I was hitting was good. Um, the only thing that would change, maybe not just pulling and hitting, would be maybe no, no just grab 52, right? Like, I like it. So the last one I hit, I really liked the the interaction between the you know sand and the club mm -hmm. and the strike. But that's just that's just not enough club. You've got all these tools, why not use yeah. them? So if I hit the same shot I just hit with a bit less loft, 52 degrees, in theory it should come out and just go a little bit further because that last one was real close to being good. We'll see here. There. Good Perfect. Sound. That's money. That will have controlled, it will have spun. Yeah. So, I know you're a big performance guy. You've got your finger on them right there. Raised micro ribs. You like that sort of action? Well, that sort of feel that extra rib feel. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> it, it's hard to feel, but as long as that thing spins a bit more, I'm in. <laughs> Good man. <laughs>